Now let's look at some 1958 pennies first. Some valuable pennies here, but let's start off on the lower end. So here is a 1958 wheat penny, okay? You see that it has been struck 20% off center. So it is a mint error coin. So an error penny here. Now this coin sold for a little over $30. So nothing too valuable, but let's move on to another penny. Now this 1958 Denver minted wheat penny was struck 45% off center on a split planchet. So we can see that error clearly taking place in the image displayed. Boy, would I love to find one of these in a coin roll. That would be amazing. Now I have found error pennies in the past but I have not found one of these. Now this coin here sold for over $100. Now next up is a very interesting 1958 penny. Now here from a distance, it looks very normal. However, this is a mint error coin. So it's got a fold over with a double strike and collar. Okay, it's been double struck and collar. Now if we rotate the coin around here, you can see the reverse, you can see the C and scent going through Lincoln on the shoulder there. So it is very, very awesome. If we go to the reverse, you can actually see it a lot more. So we rotate this image here. You can actually see at the top there, the phrase in God we trust. Now that is from the front design of the penny. You can also see the outline of Lincoln there going through the O, the N, and up around to the wheat stock. And then if we look there on the end, you can actually see the word liberty uh, that is the design of the front of the wheat penny. So that is very, very awesome. I love this error. I bet you uh, something like this could definitely be passed up if people aren't even, you know, really looking for it. But if you're searching for it, you know, definitely this would be noticeable, especially under a coin microscope. Now this 1958 one cent coin sold for over $450 because of that meant error. All right, so we are all familiar with the famous 1955 double die, okay? You see how all this coin is being doubled, the date, the lettering, and we're also familiar with the 1972. So the 1955 and 1972 double die obverses are very well-known coins to look for in your pocket change. As you can see, the doubling is very, very noticeable. However, there is a coin from 1958, the 1958 penny, that is extremely, extremely valuable. So this is about as expensive penny as it gets. Uh, this is a 1958 double die obverse. So a lot of people are not familiar with that because there are only, to my knowledge, about three examples known. So it's a double die obverse. If we look here, you can see that the doubling is fairly similar to the 1955 and 1972 double die pennies. However, the date is not doubled, but if we look at the word liberty and we look at the phrase in God we trust, you can see how the lettering on this penny is doubled. So you can definitely look for that underneath the coin microscopes. Always check your 1958 pennies. Maybe you got the fourth one out there, who knows? But this penny here sold for over $336,000. Could you imagine finding over a $300,000 penny? That would seriously like change your entire life. You can do so much with that money. You can invest it and turn it into a million dollars. I don't know, but I just think that is amazing. But also on your 1958 pennies, you also wanna look for a repunched mint mark. So here is a couple examples of that on the 1958D. Look for your repunched mint marks under the coin microscope because those could always give your coins a little bit of value as well. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.